All right, so we are standing in front of 3084 Puget Meadow Loop. We're running out of daylight, but we got a nice street lights here to kind of illuminate and the road to see the neighborhood. Um, yeah, so we'll just go ahead, walk right into the back here. Can't really see much because he left his Jeep here and my car is right here. I'm trying to give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a view of the driveway and everything. But as you can see, holds two cars. It's dark. We're gonna go walk to the side to get to the backyard. Side door here, for probably from the garage. Gravel walkway. Nice green grass, fence looks good. And a lot of people do this gravel stuff all the way around for drainage. I'll go ahead and take a peek from this side. Looks good, same thing with the side here as we walked in. Go to the back wall here. Get a look at the house from the back. Looks nice. All three of these homes are very nice, by the way. If it was me, personally, I'm leaning toward um, the Beckett home. <laughs> but don't let me, don't let me sway you either which way. Okay, we'll go right into the house here. There's our front yard. We are next to an intersection. That road is a little busier than what I've seen in the other houses. As soon as we walk in the door here, we'll go ahead and point five it. There it is. All right. So as soon as we walk in, we have our staircase wrapping up around cathedral ceilings of course we know that's going to be our living room and everything but as soon as we make a right go into this quarter bath here looks good under the stairs we got our storage Laminate, hardwood laminate floors as we walk in. Transitions right into the rug for the living room. It's a pretty big living room, decent size. They split it with the hardwood laminate to, I guess, uh, indicate difference. Now we're in the kitchen since it flows. Over here be your dining room. Beautiful open concept kitchen. I'll stand in this far corner here, get a glimpse of the house. The back corner. There you go. Looks like granite countertops here, gas stove, updated appliances, big old cabinets, as we've seen in, I believe, that was in the Beckett house as well, big old cabinets. Drop down double sink. I don't know why people like double sinks. I'm against them. Looks like we got I thought I heard somebody. Okay, so we got our uh, refrigerator right there. It looks good. Pantry, corner pantry. Let's see if I know any of these guys. Well, I don't. Another shot of the living room. Into the garage. Very nice garage. I like the floor. It's kind of like that hard rubber floor. 
nice and spacious. I'm not sure if I gave you the details on this house, but I know you have them. Um, yeah, this living room looks good. Oh, there's a dog in there. That's <laughs> I thought I heard something earlier. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a four bed, two and a half bath, uh, 2,121 square feet. Um, dropped the price from 549 to 524. And it was built in 2016. Looks like we got oversized steps here, just a little wider than normal. Wraps around. I really like, like my preferences is the, the staircases and the cathedral ceilings where you can kind of take a position on the stairs and see down. I don't know, I like that. That's just cool to me. All right, as soon as we walk up the steps, we can go right. We can go left, I'll go left. We'll call this room number one. Looks to be same size room as what we're used to, uh, what we've seen in the other two houses. Put a full size bed set in there. And you got your full bathroom here. Single sink. Mirrors matching, the, this is for Micah. Uh, countertop, barber bulbs. Toilet, tub. This does have tile floor. Is it tricking me? Ah, oh, it's tricking me. That's vinyl, sorry. Room number two, looks a little bigger. No, nope, it's the same size. These things play tricks on me. That's full size air mattress. What it appears to be. It's a closet. Okay, we'll head out here. Storage here. Looks like we got more storage here. It's good. And utility room, final floor, got the single rack wrapping around the corner there, washer dryer, there's our primary, double doors, French doors, huge room, I mean, <laughs> uh, it's a queen size bed, um, but it's getting, I mean, this, there's a lot of things in this room and so much more space, this is a Absolutely huge room. I want to say this is the biggest, the biggest uh, master bedroom that we've seen, like the bedroom itself. Oh, uh, you know what? We're just going to say this is the biggest master bedroom, period, because this walk-in bathroom is ginormous. Walk in, again, with our vinyl floors, double sink countertops. Mirror, all the bulbs are working. There's your toilet. And you got your your tub right here with your stand-up shower. You can see the faculties right in there. And your walk-in closet. So pretty cool. This is a huge room. This room is ginormous. I like this room. All right. Looks like the last bedroom here. Same size as uh, the other bedrooms that we were seeing with the full size setup. So, looks like he's just staying here and on his way out, huh? Okay. What? That's the house, and it's under 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and post these and answer any questions you may have. Thank you.